Subscribe to Grazia and press on the bell icon. We don't have to just look fit. We have to actually be fit. And that's where uh, you're going to be able to get being the boss. Otherwise, usually you just hand over the reins to all the oologists in the world, whether it is the cardiologist or the dermatologist or the di- or the nutritionist. If you don't want to do that and you want to be the boss of your life, we have to learn to keep the inside strong until you don't learn good nutrition and basic, um, basic sciences about food. You don't really need to do rocket science, be a nutritionist uh, to be able to do a good diet, but we all can be our own nutritionist when it comes to good eating habits. And that's what counts. And that's the only beauty that's going to reflect on the outside. If we pay attention and we study it well enough and we adjust it and tweak it with the food, this way, the foods that we're eating, we can master longevity. We can master health. We can capture disease. That's why it's so important. First is understanding what microbe is in our gut. Then is understanding which is the good ones. See, there are all of them are not good and all of them are not bad. We have to understand which is the good one, which is the bad guy. Um, and then there is a process called as weeding, seeding, feeding. So weeding is where you remove the bad guys. Seeding is where you put in the good guys. And then feeding is eating right so that you continue flourishing the good guys. Eat like we as Indians ethnically ate 50 years ago. Okay, our Indian thali is amongst the best in the world. A balanced meal, of course, is primary one. Good amount of water is very crucial because your gut bacteria also requires a hydrated gut because a dehydrated one are going to feed more of the bad guys. So water is very crucial, of course. Endorphins are the best way to flourish the good ones. So uh, 30 to a 40 minute exercise, even on a daily basis, or you say about four times a week, one hour of an exercise or four active hours is great for your gut health. Certain prebiotic foods such as yogurt or pickled vegetables. The West love to sell kimchi and uh, sauerkraut, but what they are is basically our water-based pickles uh, that we make at home. Uh, So uh, usually if you go to see our Indian plate always has a little bit of achar in it. Instead of making the very oily ones, if you stick to the water-based ones, such as the, uh, you can put various tubers like your carrots, radish, onions, uh, cauliflower, all the various vegetables, when you pickle them with in a salt water brine or with a little bit of vinegar, uh, mustard seeds, and you ferment this in the sun for about, say, five to seven days and then keep it in the fridge and use two to three pieces with each meal. That's one of the best prebiotic foods to give your tummy. Um, so I think all of these basic, a glass of raw vegetable juice, as I always recommend, take three different colors of vegetables, put them into a blender, a regular one, nothing fancy, no juicers are required, three different colors because all various colors have various different antioxidants and they feed various different probiotics. So, uh, take three different colors, put them into a mixy, little bit of water, blend, strain, put 50% of the roughage. That roughage is your prebiotic. Put that back into the glass, squash a little bit of lime, slurp it down immediately. It's one glass of potent antioxidant, um, natural Botox rush. Mm-hmm.